Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about Jack Miller giving an honest appraisal of Pedro Costa's performance in last weekend's Portuguese Grand Prix in Portimao. Now speaking after the race, Jack said, Pedro had an absolutely fantastic race. I had no chance against him and when he passed Brad, he just started to hammer away from us. Brad and I both had our tongues out trying to chase him down but there was absolutely nothing we could do. He then went on to explain about Acosta's style and he said, he's not really on the bike and he's often out with the body. He touches the ground with everything and it seems at one point he will be able to touch the ground with his head. His style is really impressive, especially when you look at him from behind. I can only wish to ride that way. Maybe I'm a little bit less elegant. He is riding really well and he manages to put the bike where he wants. And this is a really positive aspect. Now, Jack also went on to say that, you know, Acosta is able to take advantage of the development that has been done with the KTM in the past 12 months. And he said, we've improved the KTM a lot in the past 12 months and he is taking advantage of it now. We need to use him as a lens to understand what he does differently and learn from him. I am 29 years of age, but I'm still learning every race. My style has changed massively from 2016 to today, but obviously it is not enough. I will have to keep working on it. Or maybe I should do some Pilates. Now, I think Jack is being a little bit cheeky there with his... uh, I do some Pilates, but I I don't think he's wrong. Look, we could see Pedro's bike control, and we talked about this on the podcast, was absolutely epic. I haven't seen anyone being so fast and looking so comfortable. You know, with Marquez, it was always kind of like an out-of-control draw. He was working hard, whereas with Pedro, you weren't really seeing him working that hard. You were seeing him lean, but everything just seemed cam um is the only way i can put it but you know both ktm factory riders were made look very ordinary in sunday's race i will be very honest and they're not ordinary they're both very good riders we've often talked about uh, brad binder being on the cusp of an alien you know this is what we meant by building a good solid bike and put an alien on it and they can put that extra bit onto it i do also know that it's only a couple of races in for pedro Acosta you know and the world is talking about him as the next big thing but what he did on sunday's race you know if anyone was a naysayer that the boy doesn't have the talent or doesn't have the drive to do it you know he definitely showed us is he the future i don't know is he the 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 future future you know is he the next marquez and rossi I, i would from sunday's performance believe that he is going to be in that kind of stratosphere if i'm honest but he is an exceptionally talented rider that put in a performance over the course of his first two Grand Prix really that is far above anyone's expectation. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of Jack's comments? Do you think the factory riders are now under pressure? And will Pedro Costa be that next megastar? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.